The Voss family. Steve Voss and uh, some guy that walked in off the street. You know, looking that's the next. Wish, looking for tuition money. That's the yeah, next yeah. Steven Spielberg, Jacob Voss. No, I'm sorry, you have the name wrong. Uh oh. You have the name wrong. What is his name is? What? I call him Judge. I call right. him JD. I call him Judge yeah. Voss. You know the inside story. And I'll tell you in a minute. Can I just ask you one thing? Yeah. Um, is anybody, have you seen Rusty Nails? Have you seen around here? No. no. Jay, hey, Jared, hold on a second. Just, I know we're on the air here. Just, Jared, can you tell me what's going on with Russ? What? Where's Russ? Here's Russ. Curbside, La Mesa. This is downtown La Mesa. The reason oh, I'm here, here is. today is I was on my way to the studio and I wanted to find out if I could play music in here. Look inside there. It's great in there, isn't it? So what anyway, is they have music here. Downtown La Mesa, right there. Main Street and uh, Third, right here on the corner. Uh, kind of by the curb. I get my hair cut right over there. Okay. Trolley Is comes right cares? down there. <laughs> the corner store across the street. Look at these guys up here, huh? Working on the building, making La Mesa so beautiful. Anyway, uh, I'll be there in a minute. Just uh, talk about I mean, who's on the show today. I don't even know who's on the show today. Who's on the show today, Tommy? We have uh, Tommy. Steve Voss, the mayor of Poway. Hey. And we have the next Steven Spielberg, the next George Lucas, Jacob Voss. Judge Voss. Judge Voss, and Who's we our have musical guest today? the Swingin' Johnsons. The Swingin' <laughs> Johnsons. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> let me tell you. What let is, me what, tell you why. Wait, did you? You said the Swingin' Johnsons. Yes. Okay. I met the. I'm Swingin'... just gonna step away from that and let you just handle it. Just... Well, I met the Swingin' Johnsons at KUSI. They played out on the patio one year. I saw. And it's an interesting band because they're kind of like the original yeah. Partridge Family led by Jill Johnson. She's like the original Shirley Partridge over there. And then- Who's Danny is what I want to know. Yeah. Who's, da who's Danny Bonaducci? Oh, nice. That's Sodi. That's her son, Sodi. And then Wayne Johnson on the electric guitar is her ex-husband. And when I met them, Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold. Oh, it gets way weirder. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I want to talk it about gets... this family stick here for a second. So you are the mom yes, I am. of this very talented, I know he's talented because I heard him play, but you are the ex-wife of Wayne. I'm the, yeah, he's my third ex-husband. Third ex-husband, and when I met them, they, she had two ex-husbands in the band, and what? they all played. What, where are they now? My dad couldn't make it today, but he's the other member of the Swingin' Johnson's family band. His name's Steve Orr, wow. and uh, he came with us and last you, time. And do you have any ex-girlfriends in the band up there? Is just, uh, is just, <laughs> yeah, just, just some violin players. Can, can we hear something? Can we can bust something yeah. out real quick? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Knock it out. Let's hear it. Hope they play me on the radio every hour. Don't want money, don't need power. Just like to know that you hearing me. And I know now who you, you did what you came to do. You broke my heart back in two. You left me all. Yeah, I'm wasted at 8 a.m. 
Wow. What do you think about that? The Swingin' Johnsons. Hey, that, that had a that lot that of heart and soul. Is that an original? Is that an original? No. Song by Marcus King. Wow. Who nice. I found out about really recently. He's one of my favorites. He's well, you, you do it. Great. Swingin' hey, hey. So you guys stay with us all day. That's a good sign. All right. Nice pull. Swingin' Johnsons. Wow. Swingin' Johnsons. Glad Russ is not here to comment on it for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, I'm letting that go into the ether. But, but I'm looking forward to talking with the mayor of Poway, Steve Voss. He has a lot of family history we're going to get to. But I'm also looking forward to his son, Jacob yeah. Voss, because you have a lot going on, young man, yeah. and you have a bright future. And I'd like to talk about that. Like, what projects are you are on, on the horizon right now? Yeah, yeah. Currently, the, uh, the big one I'm doing is a, is a feature film this summer in July. The first, you know, I'm in a lot of shorts and stuff, and so this will be the first uh, movie that I've done, the first full-length movie. And so, what's it called? It's called Scuba. Scuba? Yeah. All right. And what's, is it an acronym for something, or is it really about scuba? It, it is not really about scuba. The, the, the premise, it's a coming-of-age movie about high school, the theater world, which I was kind of a part of. I was a big part of the theater world, yeah. too, man. I've got to tell you, it was a dichotomy for me. Being on the football team and being in the theater, yeah, it was, that, did, that, that was like, that was, I had a lot of therapy after, <laughs> after high school because of that. Is so, that so, therapy so, still going on? A little bit, obviously, because okay. you see me on business and you see me up there. The whole thing was kind of a theme. Thanks. I'll be laying on the couch with some tissue later. Uh, talk about the, yeah. so what's the storyline? Yeah, the story, it, it follows two characters. Um, Becca is the main one. She's a high school sophomore, and she's always wanted to be the, the lead in the play. And uh, she has always gotten ensemble parts and been, like, outcasted with all the little bit You know, she'll, like, right. say one line in a show. Uh -huh. And then uh, she meets a guy named Don who's a little bit of a social outcast. And he encourages her to write her own play and to put, put it on in front of the school. And it's this big jungle epic and it just goes terribly. Do you <laughs> have Do you have music that you know plays under? We under do, We have a composer currently that is not my. Wait 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 wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? I would have used wait, him. Wait, wait. He's, a, he's a Grammy Award winning composer. I could see the. I could see where that was leading. <laughs> but wait. So you do have music, and you didn't hire the mayor of Poway. Not for this. It sounds so <laughs> worse, and you they, say it like that. Did not even talk to the mayor of Poway. Wow. Wow. So mayor yeah. of Poway, can, can I just say this? You were are one of our most watched shows mm. out of the 50 some odd episodes. <laughs> this is done. 52. 52. So I think you, I don't know what episode you're on, but I'll tell you. It was such a great, and I, I, we walked out of here the day that you were on the air and said, we need to have like a two hour special with just the <laughs> Steve Voss story. And that's why I want to have you back. So you're going to be having to recant some of those stories uh, that you said before you want to hear those again. But uh, so, so how proud are we of, you know, I'm the owner of two millennials. I know how that works. I'm super, they're both college graduates. And, and during COVID, one of them finished up med school in this crappy year. You had to finish up your senior year. Yeah. What was, did you feel like you were ripped off? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been in school for the last, like, you know, in a classroom for a year and a half. So it's definitely just a bummer to, to not be there. You and know? it's that frustrating you? because here, you know, you, you want your kid to go someplace like Chapman, that's a top film school. It really is. But he can't get on the soundstage there. He can't get in the equipment room. They no. shut it down. So I'm thinking, why are we paying $70,000? Well, so as a city room? leader, okay, yeah. who has to deal with everything from potholes to teachers and everything else, does it make us think potentially, potentially that uh, the traditional way of learning post high school may need to change and, and, and maybe could I mean could you you obviously learned what you learned mm -hmm. without being in school last year yeah. yeah makes you question whether you needed to do whether you could have done it anyway right Interesting. Hmm. right yeah and you know we've we've found out that zoom works for a lot of things that nobody ever dreamed were possible right. you know? but the, the whole learning equation I I think is changing but you know, when you go to a film school, you want to be able to, to get the gear that they promise you and have the sound stage and the Foley stage and all those benefits. And that was right out yeah. the window. Thankfully, Jacob is enough of a go-getter that he's been making stuff happen. He, he and his, one of his roommates have started up this uh, AI, uh, artificial intelligence generated script things and shooting movies for that. It, it, well, you know. so what's interesting you say that because first of all, as you know, Zoom started COVID. Oh yeah. And Peloton. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's follow the money. O honestly, the, the, and the, the, the other piece of this thing is if you think in terms of what goes on, you've got a diet college experience mm. for 100% of the calories, right? I mean, it, and I think you're not the only family that's feeling that. And I think it's gonna change mm. the way people, and to it, because let's face it, had you, and by the way, Chapman, 
has surpassed USC film school in terms of film schools in this country. But think in terms of just core curriculum for education. It's the same as it was when I went to college. When I was at USD in San Diego State, it's the same classes. And I didn't pay as much as you guys are paying for core curriculum. So why does it cost six times more now? That's the question we need to be asking ourselves. We need to ask the, the mayor. Well, <laughs> and, and thankfully, the mayor has nothing to do with the school district. And I, yeah. I often uh, go to great pains to make sure that's clear. Uh, you know, in Poway, we just try and get things done and keep businesses open. And, and you do. I, and I think that could work well elsewhere in the educational system. And Judge. Yeah. Okay, can we just get through the story about why I call him Judge and why you call him Jacob? Uh, so tell the story, Steve. Well, my dad's nickname when he was very young was Judge because he was always so serious all the time. So his mm -hmm. two sisters just nicknamed him Judge. Like a judge. And, you know, rather ironic with the way he well, we'll turned talk, out. We'll talk about that. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about it now. Can you tell well, wait, us? We're still talking about why we call him Judge, though. Yeah, well, that's why, is because of, his, of your dad, your grandfather. But his middle name is? Judge. Bam! Judge. It's his legal name now. <laughs> I like to call him J2. And who right. was your dad? My dad, Jim Voss, uh, was a really bright kid that used all of his energy in the wrong ways when he was young. He was arrested for armed robbery. He was kicked <laughs> out of the military for selling stuff that belonged to Uncle Sam. Uh, so I called that industrious. Uh, wait, 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 wait. He was sent to prison? Sent to prison, did hard time. Wow. What uh, years? Uh, before I was born. Uh, it would have been uh, mid f mid to late 40s. Wow, that's like... Uh, never I... told my mom that he was in prison. She thought that he was out saving the world as a captain in the army. <laughs> mid to late 40s, that was Russ's uh, senior high school year, wasn't it? That's I'm not funny. Mistaken. You know, uh, that so... reminds me, um, I had a, a cousin that did time in Vacaville. And when I was a little boy, I would ride him. And my mom said, he's at Vacaville State. And she said it's a college. <laughs> so I always was writing my cousin yeah. Woody in Vacaville State Prison, but I thought it was Vacaville State College. Where's Woody now? Uh, Woody is in heaven. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, was it the result was, of his uh, decisions? He, he was uh, no, no. He was okay. a good cousin, um, and bronze medal in Vietnam, wow. and uh, he was a. So he, he turned himself guy. around. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Wasn't well, there... and my dad turned himself around. I, I better wedge that in there because. Okay. He was in a lot of trouble. He invented wiretapping. He worked with the mob. Okay, and... okay let's slow down. So wait. <laughs> this is a great story. Okay. By the way, there's a movie about your dad. Yeah, there is. There is. All right. So he, he grew up. He got the nickname Judge. And then he's in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles. Okay, how did he get to being a, a, an outlaw gangster? Like, how did it start? Well, it started because he wanted things that he didn't own, uh, and then other people caught on to that. Mickey Cohen, who was a very famous gangster back Big then, he was gangster. the dude, yeah. yeah, thought that my dad had bugged his house on behalf of LAPD and the FBI. And so Mickey sent one of his henchmen to go get my dad and bring him to Mickey's house, and Mickey says, you know, I understand you planted a bug in my house. And dad said, no, I didn't. And uh, he said, you know, I, I do that, but... I didn't do yours. And Mickey said, well, could you find it if there is one here? <laughs> my dad said, no, you don't understand. I put them in. I don't take them out. And Mickey, my dad told this story so many times, pulled out a roll of $100 bills. This is back in the 40s. He says, are you sure you're not in the business of taking them out? And he finally hit some magic number. And my dad said, I think I can find it. <laughs> did he? He did. I have it at home. You so he, you have the actual I have bus. the actual no my kidding. Yeah, the bug. And so this is like L.A. Confidential, right? This is. Oh yeah, that, Mickey Cohen is... was a big part of L.A. Confidential. That's right. The movie. Okay, so he does that with Mickey Cohen. So what happens next? Like, Mickey puts him to work. And, what and he, for what a while, my dad was working for the mob, Mickey Cohen, and LAPD and the FBI all at the same time. And he finally reached a point where he said, "I got to pick one or the other." He picked the mob. Ha! Oh, he did. He did. No kidding. He did. There was Jacob. You got to write a movie about this. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, it's, I, 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 like a remake <laughs> of the exactly. what is that movie? The Wiretap. 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 There you go. Yeah. You could do. It. I mean, it, it, when you watch those movies as a student, yeah, you're, I mean, you're critical, but then you're all saying, "That's my grandpa." <laughs> right. <laughs> That's got to be a tough one for you. Yeah, I, I, I haven't even seen that movie because it's so hard to find. I know it's on like YouTube somewhere, but. Oh, um, I, I it is on YouTube. There needs to be a remake of Wiretap here. Yeah, that's right. Now, S Jason Statham. As, there was a happy <laughs> ending. Okay. I, but I don't get say. there yet. Oh, Hold okay. On, let's get to the meat <laughs> of the stuff. So, what else? More happened? prison stories. Yeah. Well, 
uh, you know, the, his big claim to fame, I suppose, if you remember The Sting, yeah. the movie with yeah. Redford and Newman, yeah. and they had this mythical machine that could tap into the telegraph wires and intercept race results. Yeah, yes. So they would intercept them before the, and delay them so they could find oh, out who right. won the race before the off-track betting bet them. host they bet on them. knew that the race started. They bet them. They always win. Oh, my God. That is they so were cool. controlling all of the betting action in the western United States. And Mickey said, look, if we go to, I think it was Cincinnati or St. Louis, we can control everything west of Mississippi. <laughs> and they were set up to do it. But the night before he was supposed to go, my mom dragged him into a Billy Graham crusade meeting in Los Angeles, and he turned his life around. Is that right? And he told Mickey the next day, I'm not going. And is uh -huh. that right? How, did he, how do you think, as I remember the story last time you talked about it, how do you think he stayed alive? Because, you know, you hear stories about, you don't, once you're in, you're in. You can't get out. Mickey believed him. You know, it was a genuine change of heart. Uh, Mickey believed him, and he said, you know what, guys, leave him. Because the guns came out when he told them. And ironically, he found out later, if he had gone to St. Louis, there was a rival mob waiting to kill him. Wow. No kidding. Yeah. Did, did, he, did he live his whole life like that with, with looking over his shoulder, you think, a little bit? No. He didn't. No. He, he turned around. He trusted God. Well, let's God. get to that after this. Yeah, let's do that after that. In the meantime, where's up. Nails? Is, 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 is Nails is any closer to being here, uh, closer to us at this point here? Do we get, are we close to... There he is. Oh, there he is. Hey, don't worry about me. I'm uh, just hitting the merge and should be there shortly. Just a uh, quick stop at the bank and uh, be right there. On the air, continues. So, little <laughs> Tommy, me, Rusty Nails. Russ is on the, Russ is on the way. There. there we go. Here, hit it. All right, boys. Let's 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 hear a little more of the swinging Johnsons on the way out. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> Sully, little Tommy, Rusty Nails. He got the Swing of Johnsons playing on stage, or at least they were. What happened to you guys? Come on. All right, there you go. All right, there. Yeah. Hey, listen, where, is Russ anywhere closer? Uh, he was on the freeway last time. Nails, where are you, dude? You're, we had so started like 45 minutes okay. ago. Okay, sorry happened? about that. I don't know what the heck happened. Anyway, uh, I'm right next to a McDonald's. <laughs> huh? You can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we right can hear next you. to a McDonald's. We got if you, you guys want anything, uh, just let me know. What do you, you want something from McDonald's? You guys want anything from McDonald's? Really? He's gonna, he uh, will be here with uh, a bag of McDonald's, I guarantee it. Hey, don't look. You guys want anything? Chocolate uh, uh, chocolate shake and a Big Mac. Anything else? Or the Swing and Johnson's. <laughs> Mickey D orders. Let's take anything it. Anything, Tommy? Just the usual. The usual for Tommy. Um, Five quick quarter deposit, pounders. And then we are out <laughs> And two drinks. Yeah. So no one. Yeah, like the car. You have to tell that story. Okay. Right like after my today. navel. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, listen, got, guys, really. Quick right. deposit, I'm on my way. Should be there about 20, 25 minutes. All right. But Mickey D's, if you want some, I'm going to swing. Hold there on. Is. I'm going to swing in, in and uh, get myself the ATM? a brekkie. That's not McDonald's. That's an ATM. Okay? <laughs> so that should be good. All right? Oh, my God. We're done here? <laughs> yeah, beat it. Oh, get up. <laughs> Wait a second. Before we get, one of, my, one of my fondest memories of radio was, I think it was actually before I was in radio. What, I don't know what year this no, might have been. Maybe I was in a radio already. Jeff and Jerry and I used to tell this story because Jeff and I especially, you know, we'd go up and down with our weight, and we would always love going to fast food. And we had the similar stories when we would order food from the drive-thru. We would purposely order two drinks so the person wouldn't think it was just for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Did you really so care with like, the window know, of a fast food? So it would be like, okay, two quarter pounders, two large fries, uh... Uh, some McNuggets and uh, and then uh, a two regular different Coke, drinks though, right? A regular Coke right. and a root beer. Because <laughs> uh, you were concerned that the person working at minimum wage, at the the fourteen year old, yeah. working at the drive through window, would judge you, Tommy. Oh, yeah. was, is that yeah. what it came down to? Absolutely, right, I still right. do that today. All right, yeah. there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so glad to have Jacob Judge and Steve Voss, Mayor Voss, 
Hey, can we get into some City of Poway stuff? Uh, COVID's uh, coming, uh, the, 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 this economy shut like a light switch. It was a brick wall hitting a speeding bullet train, and then it opened up, the economy opened up like a sunrise, right? And it continues to. Um, you have been a, a vociferous um, actor here in San Diego with respect to um, keeping businesses open. You've done a great job in the city of Poway. In fact, if you drive through the different areas, and I, as, as, as born and raised native San Diegans, you can drive through different areas of San Diego and see the leadership differences in the different <laughs> oh, yeah. cities. No, I'm not kidding. And, and uh, so you got to be proud of that. Talk, give us an overview. Give us your state of the state or state of the city over there at, at, in Poway real quick. And what's state of the city is pretty darn good. I think it is. You know, we've got a council that recognizes uh, there are folks working in Poway, supporting their families and supporting their community. Yeah. And we want to do everything we can to keep them open. So right. we provided picnic tables for restaurants free of charge. And we're changing our municipal code to let restaurants keep operating outside. Yes, you know what? The entire city needs to do that. Yeah. You know, because... Large cities over, across the globe are now closing down city centers before COVID to encourage more mass transit or Ubers or anything else. So you can walk in and then there's you know, more room for outside cafes and stuff. People have figured out the parking, haven't they? Yeah. It's, they it's, I mean, you can't complain about there's no parking anymore because, <laughs> because of pent-up demand or whatever, restaurants are full regardless of parking. So they're figuring it out. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of restaurants. I've noticed when I go now, they're doing a booming business in the restaurant, but they're doing a huge takeout business. Yeah, so right. I think their business has actually increased. Do you know what I love to see, though, is when you go to some of those restaurants uh, in Poway and you see what their seating capacity was pre-COVID, mm -hmm. and now that they're outside, it's triple the size, and they're still filled up, and they got, and look at, 24% of our economy here in the county of San Diego exists in the hospitality industry. Okay, that's waiters, waitresses, bartenders, uh, uh, hoteliers, uh, doormen, people loading in speakers, sound men, everything. And I will tell you, uh, you, you create that and it creates GDP, which is the report card to our own economy here. City of Poway's got to be killing it. And that needs to be sort of the example for the rest of, this, of the county. Um, take the politics out of it. Put the, put the small business yeah. person first. Small big business, the biggest taxpayer in this county, the biggest employer in this county, and the least incentivized unless you go to the city of Poway, thanks to Mayor Boss. <laughs> hey, how do we get people back to work? I know a lot of restaurants that are finally opening up are having trouble getting staff back. They stop paying them more to not work, yeah, right. and they'll go back to work. Yeah. But who, where does that start? Who, who can stop that? Unfortunately, that's in Sacramento and Washington, D.C. Yeah. You know, I take care of stuff in Poway. I can't do anything about Sacramento or Washington, D.C., right. but sooner or later they got to catch on. And, you know, because businesses, I see, you know, we're hiring signs, you know, job signs in virtually every business around town. There's 8.2 million open jobs in this country right now. 8.2 million open jobs they can't fill them because they, listen, people are I, home. I wouldn't work if I was going to make more doing nothing. You know, do you know what they call that? A musician, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Steve knows. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But honestly, I mean, it, it, we have to disincentivize. We have to re-incentivize people to go back to work and not use uh, the the, uh, the unemployment system to to incentivize people to stay home. I think that's a little bit. That, that's a scary part. What I love about Mayor Voss, I remember last year in Who's 2020. Mayor Voss. It's Mayor Voss. Steve. Steve -o. Well, what I love about Steve, Steve Voss is last year, 2020. You know, when it all started in March. You knew you were going to do a 4th of July fireworks display <laughs> in 2020, and you did. Are you going to do fireworks in 2020? Well, we, we didn't just do our fireworks. He's doing everybody fireworks was, this weekend, man. What are you talking about? Boss has never stopped. Everybody was canceling their fireworks yes. shows. We said, we're going to double down, and we had two fireworks right. shows last year. And you know what? We're doing two again this year. You doing a couple summer concert there. series? I think we are. Can we donate the band? Probably. I want to, let's get in there. The I mayor doesn't have anything I, to do with that You need to step decision, in there. Can I, your kids yeah, are yeah. Hey, uh, you guys are great, and you're not going to go anywhere. And guess what? We have the Swing and Johnsons here. Will you guys play us some more stuff? Because you guys are fantastic, too. Absolutely. Well, let's hear it. Go. I want to hear about the band next break. we got to talk to the Swing and Johnsons yes. before we find them. Sody. Early in the morning when the sun does rise. Laying in the bed with bloodshot eyes. Late in the evening when the sun sinks low That's about the time my rooster crows And 
I got women up and down this creek And it keep me going in my engine clean Run me ragged but I don't fret Cause the rain been one to slow me down on yeah Get me drinking that moonshine Get me high in the grocery bill Take my troubles to the high wall Throw them in the river and get your fill We been keep this living in your wind up day Cast your troubles on the Lord of Lords Wind up laying on a cooling board who that is? It's the Swingin' Johnsons here. On the air, Sully, little Tommy, Rusty Nails, Mayor, Steve-O Voss, and of course, the judge. Jacob the judge. judge Voss. The, I just think we call him the judge from now on. You know what? I mean, why don't they, you guys look at, look, they have a Spike Lee joint at the end of the movies, right? Yeah. yeah. If, if, look at it, and if you're, by the way, if you're just joining us here, uh, Jacob Voss, Steve Voss's son, film student. We wanted to get him in here for a couple of reasons. First of all, you're an impressive young man. We're going to talk about your movie. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is that we want to know what it was like getting ripped off <laughs> as a student <laughs> during COVID. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, and I, I say this all the time. If you could end COVID by uh, naming one uh, self-important bloviating politician, who would it be and why would you say Gavin Newsom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but seriously, what yeah. was it like, dude? Like, you... It like, you are going to your senior year of film school. This is it. I'm going to be seen by the industry. It's a feeder school right. to a million different... Uh, I mean, look, at we're in the right. business, and we know about you guys. Yeah. Then there's Hollywood. And then all of a sudden, it's... Yeah, it, it, I mean, it was definitely disappointing. I was about to shoot my, uh, my junior-level project, like, two weeks after school shut down. And then, you know, so I'd been prepping so much for that. And then, luckily, I got to do my thesis film this year. Um, but, but it's been very, you know, sad and disheartening not to be able to go into class and just shoot at the same level we used to. But you adjusted. Yeah, you got some yeah. skills out of it, you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I think definitely, like, the idea of making a feature film came out of, you know, not going to school. Like, I, I realized that I had to, if I wanted to achieve something, you know, I had to do it myself and, yeah. and go at it, you know, independently. And um, so I think that was the big thing I, I learned from it. What is the, as far as filmmaking goes, yeah. you know, there's the, there's the art of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the thing called, uh, at the end of the movie where the credits are, you got executive producer, producer, then producer's producer, then the producer, and then the other right. five. So, you know what those producers are, Tommy? Producers. Check writers. They are check writers. Mm -hmm. Right. In a producer, Tommy is, I don't know if you guys know this or not here, but let me tell you. <laughs> Tommy is a Hall of Fame national radio producer. Right. What that means is, he produces this whole show for us. He books you guys, he gets the thing going, and all that, and he's very good at it. A producer in Hollywood, there's one of those producers. Right. Then there's the executive producer, right? <laughs> exactly. it's a, so have you tackled the money side of this thing? Because right. you have a lot of ideas for movies. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know you have the Sully Band story. You guys don't know about this yet. <laughs> and, uh, um, but honestly, you have a lot of ideas for movies, and basically those ideas can come to fruition these days without a studio contract because right. we're in a different world now. Exactly. But it just takes a little bit of cake. Yeah. So have, have, do they teach you that in school, how you, how you go about the financing part of this? They, they teach that more to the, like, producing side, you know, but I definitely think the wall, like, has come down in terms of, like, a camera you don't need, you know, you can, you can rent a camera for, like, $100 for a weekend, you know, that, that's super, you know, a, a really nice Alexa or whatnot, and you can go out and shoot the same quality stuff as, like, Netflix or, you know. You know, there's a, there's a website... Um, and I can't remember, I'll, I'll find out the name of it, but uh, they have these lenses that, uh, it's called Moment, and you okay. can go to shopmoment.com. They're not a sponsor, and they have a bayonet housing for your, for your iPhone. You twist the camera on, you get a cinematic lens right. on your iPhone there. And you get on one of those one wheels, and you can, you can be tracking along the beach and shooting cinematic quality. Right. I mean, are you seeing more students do stuff like that? Are you seeing Ab people? Absolutely. I, I think that's just the way everything is moving. I mean, there's like full movies, you know, coming out that were shot on iPhone. Um, that are that are like really still high quality because the story's there and the iPhone looks similar enough to the. Wait, wait, hold on. So this this right here, yeah. you can do you can make a feature film, feature Absolutely. documentary. Yeah. The guy who made uh, like Ocean's Eleven, he sh just shot a movie on the iPhone. Are you? Can you do that? 
Um, I we, we luckily have like a camera we're able to use for this movie, uh -huh. um, and so you know I, I think that's just what we feel more comfortable. But with. But it opens up filmmaking to the masses, though. Right. right. I mean, exactly. look, not necessarily making a living out of it, but creativity also breeds creativity, and that's a exactly. good thing for everybody, right? Well, and Jake's been hustling too. He won't toot his own horn the way his dad will, but to make the feature film. This summer, yeah. they started fundraising for what is it? Scuba the movie dot com. Scuba the movie. Are you still raising money? Yes, we are. They've still got like eighteen thousand five hundred so forty dollars to go. What's the budget? Our overall budget is fifty six thousand. We're right. trying to raise an additional eighteen thousand two fifty. We're and not, then you can have your name in the, the credits. We're not getting off the air today until we raise the money. Let's right raise some money. Do you have a link? Do we have a we donate do. link? We do. Scubathemovie.com? Yes, scubathemovie.com. We We're staying on the air until we reach 57. Tommy is staying on the air <laughs> yeah. until we reach. Is, um, uh, have you have it cast yet? The whole thing is. It, are you shooting it yet? What, what, what um, stage? Of the, what's the arc of the story as far as production? Goes? Yeah, so we're shooting in July. So we're currently um, all our you know young cast is cast. We have two um, older actors that we're still in the midst of casting. Tom, um, don't look at me. Come on. <laughs> I can barely, I'm barely hanging on to the, the, to hey, the radio program. You guys all pointed at me. <laughs> You'd be fantastic. I'm just kidding. Why don't you do Hey, I know a woman, um, yeah. a very talented musician. She lives in uh, Nashville. Yeah. Um, I think her name's oh, I, I Anna. I know where this is going. <laughs> I know where ever, this is going. That's just her. Um, I have used her in a few things. I don't think, um, I don't know if <laughs> Your music been... supervisor's <laughs> not gonna give her the nod on this one. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, sh I, I do her music videos and she acts in those, but I don't think she's interested in acting. Uh, but what about as a, as a music supervisor using some of her music in the film? Yeah, would I, I would love to, and I've, I've talked to her. She's on, I mean, she's featured in Rolling Stone. Yes, she is, yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. and Billboard. And no Billboard. Kidding. Yeah. Who's, who, Pat, what? I know. Like Tommy I said, I'm just old. barely hanging on here. So, the, okay, uh, um, uh, before, I'm gonna- I have more questions for both. Yeah. I do too, and I think, uh, do we have, is Nails close? Is he, is, are we getting close to Rusty Nails? There he is. Oh, he's still at the McDonald's. <laughs> That's me. You do. That's me, he's got one. <laughs> All right, on the air. Selling little Tommy Rusty Nails, Mayor Steve Voss, the Judge Jacob Voss, and director filmmaker. And I got friends out on the coast We can jump in the water and see what flows We've been saving for any day Let's beat the storm and be on our way It don't matter to me and I can play the guitar like a brother love and ride Fantastic. Where are you guys? Sodi Orr. That's Sodi Orr. That's Wayne Johnson on electric, and that's Jill Johnson, the mom. I got to say this, Sodi. I think if, if you were born and you were playing music in the mid 60s, the late 60s, early 70s, you would be. Dusty Springfield. You would well, come be on. Huge. Wow. You would, I mean, you means have I have a, a great, secret crush on you. You have you a great here? soul. I just got the, I got the McDonald's. I'm so sorry I'm late, Judge. <laughs> Mayor, got it. Swing and Johnson's. So, uh, Johnson's. I've been a part of your group forever. <laughs> uh, and uh, and here, here's your order. I'm so sorry, but what did I miss? What happened? Hold I mean, on. We're talking movie making. Hang on a we're talking. Back to you in a minute. Uh, yeah. How do we find you guys? Yeah. And, and if, are you playing anywhere soon? And where, if people can find you online, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have an Instagram page at Swinging Johnsons. We have a Facebook page. The URL is facebookcom slash the 4 Johnsons. Uh, we play at the uh, Windmill Food Hall every Thursday, Coomer Craft Wines in Oceanside every Wednesday. Okay. Uh, this Tuesday coming up, I believe we're at uh, 
Papagayo. Oh, I love that place. Oh, up in, up in Lucadia. The new one in Carlsbad, actually. Yeah. New hippies. Is wow. the windmill food court the old Split P. Anderson right over here with the big windmill? Yes, right. yes. The right. one right off Palmer Airport Road. Yep. Shut the front door. It's All right. a great venue. Yep. Here we go. I hope there's enough for everybody. There's not. Yeah, thanks. No. Perfect. Well, you know, I, 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 wanted to, uh, I wanted to get here because... You know, I'm an actor, by the way. <laughs> God, I knew uh, this was coming. What? I could audition. He said, he I said will audition you. Scuba. He said, we oh, have a role oh, for a don't. vice principal. Here, you sit over here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, no. Vice principal. Vice yeah. principal. Oh, I hate vice principals. You I know the that. principal's office. Do I Are you ever? begging? Are you, did you just beg? I beg. Did you I'll just beg. beg for a part? I hear. Some of these are yours. Hold on. Did you know, did you know that Russ? Huh? Did you know oh, that Russ? One, yeah. Is an Emmy Award winning. Oh, yeah. Television personality. Multiple. You know that? Yes. Acting, producing. And I, I do it all. got a certificate of achievement <laughs> in high school. He was the crossing guard of the year in sixth grade. So don't. Uh... Uh, judge, yeah. let's talk about your movie because yeah. you yeah. are raising money. Yeah. $56,000 budget. Mm -hmm. You got $18,000 to go. Yes. I'm going to decree this right here. Anyone who will go to your website, which is scuba the movie.com this morning and donate to the movie uh oh i will match personally i don't want you wow this BS is good and saying you got a nineteen thousand dollar donation from your <laughs> yeah. daddy that, yeah do it because that doesn't count it's good we will match up to five thousand dollars does that sound fair yeah that does. all right thank you so just go to scuba the movie scuba the movie yeah, dot com. yeah and i will personally match Oops. actually Sully Entertainment Group. Okay. Personally match. <laughs> Scoop of the movie. We'll personally, we'll personally match up to five thousand dollars. Anybody who Thank donates you. today. Mm -hmm. So let's. And Tommy was going to stay on the air until. Oh yeah. Until that money's <laughs> raised. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I am and staying I, on the air. Yeah, and I'll be with you until I get a part. I think it's only <laughs> yeah. It's going to work. Talk, can we well, talk? I'll about stay too <laughs> until he puts a song in. I, we're going. Yeah. You, you got to get there. Wait a second. You a second. This song. Grammy hey. Award winning. Do you have a new song for us today? Well, oh, it's boy. actually an old song. Tommy called me like five minutes before. That's how he does it. Do a new song for That's it. That's how he does it. your guitar. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it, Jacob Judge won't use my music in any of his uh, stuff, but uh, this is that accurate? It is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but wait it a minute. Varies That's by the word yes. <laughs> is the song you're about to perform, is it in a movie? It's actually in a TV show just a couple nights ago. The big new summer hit, I guess, Cruel Summer. Cruel Summer. Uh, I've had wow. those. Yeah. <laughs> it it? plays in the background. No hits. Bar. But cruel summer. Let's yeah. hear it. <laughs> yeah. Steve Voss. I might have stayed out late a little too often, according to the missus. <laughs> and once or twice I had lipstick marks. <laughs> spots she never kisses. Uh -oh. <laughs> but otherwise I thought things were fine. Till I got home tonight The blocks away I could see the house In a brand new light uh -oh. It's all <laughs> over but the shouting <laughs> All names yeah. mm -hmm. All my things are in the front yard oh, no. Going up in flames <laughs> 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 Stuff is flying out the window. I'm ducking pots and pans. <laughs> it's all over but the shouting and the <laughs> has hit the fan. <laughs> yeah, Steve Boss. That's very cool. You have to release it. That is like that is like every country, country western song yeah. I've ever heard. Well, let me ask you it's son, not a hit. How are your mom and dad at home? Yeah. They fight a little? Is there ever a fire in the front yard? <laughs> this is I a can true. see the rolling credits, and that's the deal at the very uh, end there. You know, I can hear it. that going yeah. out. So, this. Judge, how was it growing up with the musician father? Did you... Did, did he sing you to sleep and all that stuff? Do you remember that? I did he put I, you to sleep? <laughs> yeah. I think when I was uh, young, yes. Um, let, let me tell you the true story. Uh -oh. His sister Anna loved it when I sang her to sleep. Uh-huh. I went in to do it for him and like the second night he said, Dad, no. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. No more. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> that is true story. Yeah, Go back to that green funny. stock I'm story, would you? <laughs> uh okay, and, and so where when once we once we fund this deal, yeah. you're gonna shoot this deal. Yeah. And then when do we see when do we get to see it the big screen? Yeah, I mean I mean the idea Ideal. is to have it fully edited by the following year so that way it can like be submitted to Sundance. So I think uh, January 2022 mm. is the uh, <laughs> Russ is, is the begging. Idea. You think I planned <laughs> your father to do the play at the Christmas show? Yeah. 
He is. I will you're be, watching let him me get just you something. Me I'll go back to McDonald's <laughs> and I'll just here. I'll take these with me and get you the good stuff. You don't need that. <laughs> all right. And, and and so what what is the date now? What we think if if all things go right? We yeah. Um, January, I would say 2022 should you, be when can, it's all edited. Can cool. you imagine January 2022? All of us having a premiere party here hey. at the studio, right? For you and all of your investors. The premiere. Uh -huh. For you and me and your dad. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's quiet, everyone. Here comes the vice principal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be serving drinks at the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. All, all right. Parking car. Much more to come. Stand by. Cool. Sweet Johnson. <laughs> On the air with Sally, Little Tommy, and Rusty Nails, and performing right now, Jill Johnson from the Swingin' Johnson. <laughs> that was awesome. Guys, thanks for coming in today. It's been fantastic. Thank you. We can't wait to see you live somewhere. Uh, apparently, we're starting. It's around the corner from Laughlin Art Studio. Yeah. Uh, where no, it's the windmill thing. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Now, which, which I know, I know Russ so well here. Let so, me tell you, let me tell you this one. Get out of here. Russ and I have been on television and radio together for 25 years. <laughs> and what happens is when Russ has a guest in, let's yes. say he has a dentist in, sure. Okay? Uh -huh. Suddenly, and hey, as long as you're here, right? A little molar if, issue, doc. If there is, if there is a, a carpenter and he's got a floorboard up in his house, mm -hmm. Russ says, hey. How about we do like a feature? How do you measure crown molding? Because I can't get those corners if to fit. If we have a director on, hey, uh -huh. yeah. just saying. I'm telling you right now, don't say <laughs> where you're playing. Because <laughs> I'm Cause dropping Russ, in to cause sing, cause baby. Because yeah, Russ yeah. wants to drop in not only to sing, he wants to play there. Yeah. So yeah. I would kill that kid. That's good. As long as we take a shot, I'm cool. Uh, we got a round of shots, two shots. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's the COVID, uh, yeah, the vaccine. But I love, <laughs> I love the swinging Johnsons because that's mom over there. And then Sodi Orr in the middle, Correct. and that's that's not your dad. No, that's that's your mom's ex-husband. Most recent ex-husband. And wow. Your dad is another ex-husband. Second most recent. Right. Uh huh. And, and there's another ex-husband. <laughs> Shout out to Mark number one. Uh, yeah. She's a serial marrier. Wow. <laughs> I'm openly gray. <laughs> what? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing, man. Like. Uh, my dad and Wayne's relationship is phenomenal. And when I was like young, the yeah. three of them had a trio called Treja Vu. So it was Wayne. Wow. My dad, my hey, stepdad. It's a family is, show, pal. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I, that's a great name for a group. Thank you. Treja Vu. We got away with Swinging Johnson, so I thought, you know. <laughs> and I noticed it's, it's hyphenated. It's John's son. Yes, the which son is of how, John. Yeah, that's oh, how I people see. used to name their yeah. family. This is what, Russ? Huh? That's good. No, okay. shut up. Uh, once again, what's your website once again? We got a Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash the four swinging Johnsons and swinging Johnsons on Instagram. There got we it. go. All right, guys. Thanks awesome. for coming in today. Hey, thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> for you, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mayor. What's next for you in that city of Poway? You guys are you guys are wide open at this point. Is there going to be like in North Park? I heard there's going to be you know my body, my choice with respect to masks right now. Okay, that's I think that's going to be the Your next sort of thing? shoe to drop there. What's the what's the what's the political will there, and what's the what's the community say over there at this point? We haven't really been paying attention to masks. Yeah, you know? oh, good. <laughs> we leave it up to individuals to, to you know make the decision. What yeah. is this individual yeah. rights you're talking about? Yeah. That's crazy stuff. What is that? We're having. gonna we're yeah. gonna. You know, we, I haven't heard that since seven. 1976. <laughs> uh, hey, you and yeah. Bill Wells probably are good buddies, huh? We are. Yeah, we are. I mean, El Cajon Mayor? The El Cajon yeah. Mayor. Oh, who, he's cool. Fantastic. Who recently went on social media and says, you know what? I'm announcing I'm not wearing a mask. That's yeah. it. I got, I'm Arrested. vaccinated. I'm not wearing my right. mask. Yeah. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, what's interesting about this whole mask thing is, look, the pandemic was very real, but so was the uh, Spanish flu, which put us into the Great Depression after an economic boom. Uh -oh. We're seeing the pandemic going into a, uh, we, we were in a recession, and we're coming out of, a, out of it in, into a boom. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting here is I think, what do we get every year, ever since the Spanish flu, and that they've invented a vaccine? We get a vaccine every year. Oh, yeah, yeah. I sort of feel we're going to get a COVID vaccine every year, too. I mean, I think that's just the way things go. But what's interesting to me is how politicized the mask argument is. Yeah. It's just, and I don't, and I can't figure out the agenda, and this is what I do for a living every day on talk radio. 
I can't figure out what is the agenda yeah. in one side wanting masks full time and the other one, I, I, well, the rest of us, independents and, and uh, conservatives, want no masks, freedom. But I don't understand. Do it's, you know what the agenda is? It, it's gotten so partisan. It, the difference for me is there are Democrats, there are Republicans, and there are mayors. Yeah, right. <laughs> and <laughs> mayors just get stuff. But you done. know what? I will tell you, most people align. I'm, an, I'm a registered libertarian. Yeah, yeah. Okay? I'm an independent. And most people, you talk to people who are on the far left. Well, I'm fiscally conservative, I'm socially liberal. Yeah. Just like everybody on the right. We are more alike than different. Mm -hmm. But I think the problem is, is our confirmation bias from what we're watching on, uh, on, on what I call the Costco price club of news stations, and that's mm -hmm. up in the cable uh, numbers Cloud. and stuff like that. I would like to see uh, San Diego County maskless by the end of this year, as long as we have the same kind of trajectory for immunity, yeah. right? We need role models to show that it's okay. We have one. I get them on but TV we all the time. And Steve Ops. Because when you see press conferences right now, everyone's yeah. masking up right. and they're vaccinated, so it, it confuses everyone. And last week, the New York Times had an article that came out that says, hey, all the, all the statistics that show outside. Never um, No not, one. Yeah, ever 60 feet either. is as safe yeah, as yeah. three feet. Yeah. By the way, Russ is working on a press conference, no yeah. shirt. And no mask. That's right. It's shirtless. And he's Friday. encouraging most of the people. And I've noticed that since uh, 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 since the mask thing, I've I've really paid attention to my dental hygiene. <laughs> I am breathing in some bad air when I mask up. Sometimes I'm like I gotta I gotta clean that up and they tic tac me. You know we, uh, we we want everyone to be safe and you know absolutely yeah. But, but that is not a new, that is not a new concept. I know. We've always wanted everybody to be safe, right? I mean, isn't basically right, we the public the safety, safety, the public good? That's been your oath. For however many years, Craig, this is not new. That's the job. Yeah. yeah. You've been saying this since day one. Yeah. Over a year, you've been talking about doing this, oh, how yeah. we are today. Yeah. I think it's time. I would, love to, I would love to compare numbers, economic impact numbers for the city of Poway with economic impact numbers for yeah. uh, city of San Diego, North Park area. Hey. That's what I, I honestly, or, or, or Ocean Beach, Lucadia. Why don't I got an idea? I would love to compare GDPs for you guys. Start a page, and we'll uh, sell you, we'll uh, double fund it today. If you donate to <laughs> be our governor, put your hat in that ring. Be our governor, governor. bear Maybe. guy, Caitlin. This hat is staying on my head. Damn. All right, very Thank good. you, Steve Voss. Steve Voss. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Thank you, Josh. Voss. One more time, the website. We're taking donations yeah. today, or actually, we're taking funds from producers. That's right. ScubaTheMovie.com. ScubaTheMovie.com. Anything Featuring. that comes in during this show. I will match up to five thousand dollars. Doesn't count if he writes. Yeah. I think it should be Scoob of the Movie featuring Rusty Nails as vice principal. I don't think it was. That would do it. Swing it, Johnsons. Come on. I got to run and keep from hiding, and then I'm bound and keep on riding, and I got one more silver dollar, but I'm. Well, I don't know.